So if we want to get this service, for example, okay, I want to invoke it. Just like from previous tutorials, guys, we just drag and drop in here. And now we have a step in our test case, which is the get GAOIP. And we can come in here and we can give it an expected value. So what is it expecting here? It's expecting an IP address. This is according to the XML schema. Something you guys would just have to understand whenever you're working at a project. And it wouldn't be too hard for you guys to understand just because you would have time to speak to your team about it and what's going on. So if I enter an IP address, for example, let's use this one. And see what happens when I run it. So I just put the IP address in here just because this get GIP service is going to send this IP address and get something back. And we're going to run. And what we are expecting here is to return us a country of where this IP address is. And so now it's going to run. Check it out. Check out the print log down there. And now we can take a look at the results. Expand everything and check out this call right here. So if we scroll down, we can see the SOAP request and the SOAP response. Look what it sent. It sent an IP address and it returned a success and a country name, United Kingdom. Also to return a country code. Okay. So this is what it returned to us. So it's a successful test. And this is testing the service with positive values. You guys see that positive testing. So, you know, you can obviously parameterize this, create this one test and insert a whole bunch of different values and so on.